everyone, and I am going to do a small video on making your own vegetable stock out of, like, vegetable scraps. And I actually got this idea from, uh, I think the cookbook is called Thug Kitchen, or Thug Vegan. Um, and basically... Whenever you cook vegetables, you take whatever scraps you have and you keep them in a Ziploc or in a container and keep them in your freezer. And then when your bag is full or when you have a full batch, you can put them into your like stock pot or into a crock pot. And make vegetable stock your own vegetable stock from them and this one has onion skins it has garlic it has potato peels um, carrot skins some garlic or some ginger um, cabbage <laughs> and it seems to be a little bit more than my crock pot can handle so I'm gonna have to take some out and do this in like little batches um, but the beautiful thing is that like this is a great sustainable way to make your own stock and um, It's really good for the environment. It's you know, it helps prevent waste all of this can then be composted or fed to the chickens or Made into dog biscuits um, Really the sky's the limit um, Your own imagination is really the limit with this And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit out and then I'll be putting some water into this and then we're going to cook this probably for most of the day. If you're doing it with a stock pot, you can do it for about 20 minutes. I wouldn't go very much longer than that, but this cooks so slowly that you don't have to worry about things burning. Um, and you can really do like any kind of scraps. Um, vegetable scraps like dark leafy greens are going to make it a little bit more bitter. Um, so you do have to be kind of aware of what you're putting in it, but things like old mushrooms, um, nothing moldy, nothing, you know, too, too far gone, but like, um, old mushrooms that are kind of wilted, um, I have cabbage from last night, I actually made some bosam, which is a Korean dish with cabbage, and yeah, just put whatever you think you would really like. Um, basil stems, rosemary stems, anything that you think would add really good flavor. Um, this one I think is going to be a little bit light because of all the cabbage, but I do also have some frozen cauliflower that I'll be putting in here. Um, and then what I'm going to do with it, I'm actually going to put this in a, like a Tupperware and freeze it, and then I can use it as I need to. And the really cool thing is, like, you guys know that I'm not vegan, I'm not vegetarian, um, but I don't think there's anything wrong with those paths. It's just not something that I personally align to. But I love, I think a lot of you know that I've been trying to be sustainable and trying to go sustainable for the really, for probably the last five years. Um, and this is just one more step in that process. Um, and so I'm really pleased to be able to share this and give you guys a little bit of a, a baby step into your own sustainable lifestyle if you really wanted it, or even just a way to decrease the waste that you produce, or a way to make delicious food that you can literally, I mean, stock and broth is so expensive in the stores, especially like good organic vegetarian broth is so expensive and this is like the easiest thing that you can do and it's such a good recipe that is so so flexible i mean really you can use almost anything that you want and have any flavors that you want and use this in any of your recipes um so that's pretty much all i have to share with you i'm going to take some of this out and then i might make a small video later in the day showing you how it turned out and what i do with it um, some people don't even strain this, it'll just get so broken down that you can just have it as broth, and it is going to be a more cloudy broth than other people, like, 
getting broth from the store. That's really good actually. You really want all of those small particles because that adds a lot of flavor. Um, and so I will show you what I personally do. I strain this out, um, but you don't have to. You definitely don't have to. It'll get broken down eventually and it'll be just fine. Um, of course, any hard bits you would want to remove, but most of this will get broken down. So I'm going to take some of this out, I'm going to get this process started, and then I will maybe show you what it looks like at the end. Alright, thank you so much. Bye.